These two models right here are basically the same, but I'm going to ask you a question. Which one looks better? If you said the one on the right, then objectively, you were correct. It's hard to explain, but it just looks more solid, as if you could just hold it in your hands. Meanwhile, the model on the left just clearly looks CG, there's no physicality to it. This is due to the sharp edges and lack of beveling on the model. In reality, no matter how sharp a corner is, it never comes to an exact point, even if it looks like it does. The answer to how to instantly make all of your models better is just simply bevel your edges. So beveling edges is pretty simple. All you have to do is go into edit mode and select the edges that you want to apply a bevel to. After all the edges are selected, you just need to hit Control B and then drag your mouse out to get the desired width. And now over here at the bevel settings, you can change the segments. Changing the segments will, of course, one, it'll just be a flat. And then the more you go up, the more circular and smooth your bevel will be. And I'd say for close-ups, you want to at least have four. If you're kind of far away, you can definitely get by with just one, and people will not even know a difference. If anywhere on your model you get any artifacts like this right here, that's just because there's geometry overlapping. So take any of the overlapping vertices and just bring them back to the place that they need to be. Now for this next example, I'm just going to go ahead and bevel all of the buttons just to show you how to handle a certain error that you might run into that I had problems with for a long time until I figured this out. So again, control B, bevel your edges, just gonna bring that up one. And now it's beveled and it's all smooth, but you see now that we have these weird geometry artifacts. I don't even really know what to call them, but they're not very pretty. And to fix that problem, just select all of the flat faces, just anywhere on your model where you have this problem at. Select all the flat faces, go up here to mesh, normals, set from faces. And that smooths out all of the geometry. And after getting all of your beveling done, you can go from a model that looks like this to something that looks like this.